What's up YouTube, this is Priest, and welcome to another Let's Play, kind of like a mini one, of this game called Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, let's try saying that three times fast. Um, yeah, this game, it's just a random game, so um, I'm not going to expect to like do a lot of stuff with it. I'm just going to go through arcade mode and do a little bit of street puzzle mode just to show you like some things of the game, maybe this section over here. But um, yeah. And uh, I am recording off my emulator, so if the sound is pretty bad or my commentary sounds a little weird, sorry, but yeah. So we're just gonna go right into this. It's a, uh, like, a Japanese kind of game, um, and I don't know, it's really weird. <laughs> um, first off, I don't know much about Street Fighter, and this game is based off of Street Fighter. So, let me just get that clear if I get anything wrong, sorry. Second off, um, this game isn't only Street Fighter characters apparently, it's also other characters as well. So, I don't know what to really say. Um, but, yeah. So this game is like a puzzle game, but it's mixed with Street Fighter. So, like, I don't know, it's weird, cause like, you expect Street Fighter games to be about fighting, but really this is just... I don't know, it's some Japanese iteration of it, I guess. I mean, the game itself is Japanese, but still. Um, let me just explain these controls real quick. First off, you got these blocks. There's four different colors. Um, and you, like, they're called gems. So, you line up as many as you want, and then you use this, like, the same color. It's like a circle version of the gem. And if you use that next to, like, near the gems or on the gems, then it'll make them explode, and that's how you attack your opponent. Basically, what you're trying to do is line up a bunch of them and get to attack. Now you see they're in like rectangles. That's um basically that makes them pow more powerful. That makes them like a power jump, I guess you call it. And uh, yeah, it's like I'd already won because this is stage one, but I'm only playing normal mode because I suck at later levels. I don't know, they even have the Street Fighter talk and everything. But yeah, the, you just want to get those gems really big and destroy them. And power gems are better and... You know. And uh, for anyone questioning why I picked Sakura, I played this game as a kid. And um... I always thought she was a guy. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's because I was uh, really small and I've still played with her. Because... I don't know, it's just weird. But um... So the other explain more about the game. Like, every character is also different because they have their own way to, like, counter. So every time you attack, you counter a person by dropping counter gems. And every person has their own pattern. So, like, say I was protecting Donovan. He has, um, I don't even know how his face goes, but it's, like, really weird. Like, he'll drop some green gem somewhere, some blue gem somewhere. It's not, like, a random place to drop. Like, look when I drop, I drop on him. See how those are, like, lined up in a pattern red? Green, like three greens on the side and then four yellows on the other side. Yeah, it's like it's like a certain pattern that will fall. And those are counter gems. First they start off with like a number on them, either five or three, depending on how much damage you've done to your opponent. And um, depending on that, after that number runs out, they'll go to uh, they'll turn into normal gems. So basically, if you have a like a, a breaker gem, I call them, you know the circle ones. If you have those on top, then uh, they'll do a lot of um, damage if you if you like place them right and the counter jump falls on them in the right way. But anyways, oh yeah, and there's also the diamond that I was about to get that destroys any gem that you've uh, that you place it on, like all the gems on the screen of that color. So that'll help you if you're like, in a pinch. But anyways, enough explaining. Uh, I already beat the first two stages and we're like not even doing anything. <laughs> So I think it's pretty cool because, you know, um, it's like a, it's like a chibi version. I don't know if it's chibi, chibi, but it's like a weird chibi version of the characters. I think it's pretty funny. And, uh, like, I never played Street Fighter, but this game was technically my first Street Fighter game, if it just counts as well. I mean, even the name is a play on the Street Fighter, like Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. They make Street Fighter have a really long name. I don't know, for me it's funny. But yeah, and they say weird Japanese things that I have no idea what they mean. So if anyone speaks Japanese, um, you can explain if you want in the comments. 
but I don't know what they're saying at all. I don't know anyone else who's played this game, though. They have an HD version on the Xbox Live Arcade and the uh, PS3, PSN store, but I don't really want to spend money on it if I can get it on an emulator right here. So, yeah. And I don't even know if they have all the things that this version has, like all the secrets. Oh yeah, there's three um, levels. So like, you can see on the top of my screen, I just had caution. That's like the lowest level. Um, then it goes to warning. Warning is like they're gonna actually attack you. Well, let me explain it. Better. Caution is like you're gonna taunt them. Warning is like you're gonna attack them, and then they have one that's called danger, and they're gonna like destroy you. Like they're gonna like I don't know, these are like their special attack or something. And this game looks pretty easy on normal. But after this person, like after the fourth person, it gets really hard. Ready? I don't know. But th this game is just funny. I don't even know like what to really commentate about. It's just a game that makes me laugh. Cause they say the weirdest things. Like um, I don't know. Like I interpret them as English words, and I was I interpreted them as English words, and I was small. And I don't know, they just became really weird, like, I don't know, like, one time the guy named Ken, the karate master guy I think it is, he said, like, something about, I don't even know what he said, he was like, don't die or something, and I thought he said, don't die, I was like, wait, why is he telling me not to die? I don't know, it's funny though. Like, like what Sakura just said there, I thought she said, like, if you have a cavity or something, I don't even know why I'm interpreting it as these weird things, or telling you guys why. But, yeah, that's what I thought as a kid. This game is just like an awesome game to have as a PS1 game. Uh, I should have mentioned it's on the PS1, yeah. Damn you. Alright, so this is what the power gem looks like. Uh, break all those red gems. But it actually does less damage, so that's why I didn't break it on the yellow. Because it does, it halves the damage of what you would really normally do. But see, like... Yeah, if you get the last hit, like destroy them then you basically just own them with their super attack and slow motion. I think this is kind of Sakura breaking the fourth wall because she says only my second game and I'm already the best. So I don't know. Oh yeah. When, when they have these little intermissions. I don't know, they're pretty funny because they're just random little Japanese kind of things. I don't know, this game is basically a big Japanese game. I don't even know why it's ported to America. Like America. It's basically a Japanese thing. This is Ryu. The kid that everyone knows. I don't know. Like he's like the main Street Fighter guy, I guess. Like I said, if any if there's any like Street Fighter fans watching this, sorry, I really don't know much Street Fighter. Besides uh, I'll learn more about it when Street Fighter vs. Tekken comes out, but until then I'm still a newbie at it. So yeah, sorry. And now, if my voice sounds weird, I kind of just woke up. But I just felt like doing this today. Since I couldn't do it before for you guys, I might as well do it today. So yeah. I like the music too. It sounds like dark, but it sounds like... Like, at the same time, it sounds pretty cool. So I don't know. What are they saying? I still don't get it. Yeah, you... You use something. I don't know. I don't even, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> oh, damn it. He had Hadouken. That's his famous line. Oh my god. This kid's gonna kill me if I don't do something quick. Oh, that was the wrong thing to do. No. Oh, I just lost. I lost by one. If I did, if I was faster, I would have won. But yeah, you get unlimited continues in this game, so it's good. And um, I am picking the secret color of Sakura, so yeah. Anyone who just started watching, I mean, this is probably not even like 10 minutes, but still. Anyone who just started watching, um, I'm not, you know, like, I don't know, I'm not weird. I just picked Sakura because I used to pick her as a kid, and I didn't know she was a girl. But yeah, like I said, later levels, this game gets hard. It gets really, like, really annoying. You gotta be strategic, I guess. 
because like, you gotta be fast, but you gotta be like, I don't know, at the same time smart. So it's like, um, weird. <laughs> but another thing is, in the, in the HD version, like I have the demo, you can press up and the demo drops straight down, but in this one you can't. I don't know, so some things in there are improved, some that aren't, are not, that have uh, been worse. So yeah. And also, um, they have, what's it called? They switched the caution and, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? They switched the caution and warning signs in the HD version. Why? I don't know. Because they were bored. So like, when you had caution, it meant that you were going to get attacked. When you had warning, it meant you were going to get taunted. Ow, what the hell. That wasn't fair. That was a bad idea. Oh well. I got oh, I killed him. <laughs> and I'm still getting the chain. Yeah, if you chain, you'll get you'll do more damage. But sometimes you don't look. I never look at the other person's screen, so I didn't even know. Um, I don't even know what the like if they're about to lose or what. And if you didn't know. Um, this is gonna be part of a double let's play, so like, I'm gonna do this and then one other game. They're not gonna up be uploading the same video, but it'll be like, I don't know, different. I don't know what's just, what, how to explain it. But they're both like Japanese kind of games like this, but they're in English. Like they were ported to English releases, and they're both PS1 games. So you know what this one is, but I don't know if you can guess the other one. It's uh, quite a small company, so... I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys did. Now I'm pretty sure this person isn't from Street Fighter because I don't. I've never seen them in the game, or at least from Street Fighter vs. Tekken. Because I know most Street Fighter characters made it in that game, so I don't know. God damn it! Stop! They're saying like the same thing like five times. Oh my God! Stop! Yeah, and they make like these weird faces when they're about to lose or win, depending on what they're doing. It's funny. Like Sakura is like scratching her head, like, oh no. Damn. Oh, I just missed that one. All right, you're dead. What? How's she not dead? All right now. Oh damn it. <laughs> I hate when they counter you because it's like it's usually whoever gets whoever hits the breaks the jump second they'll do more damage than if you broke it first. So you want to like wait till they break it and then break a big set because that then you're gonna like, kill them. Stop. God. Yeah, and sometimes the matches get really hectic like you keep breaking, breaking, breaking until it's over. But yeah. Um, I really don't know what else to say. I mean, this game is, like, really short, and, yeah. <laughs> Actually, Sakura's State is my favorite movie. Um, I don't know why. Like, listen to this music. It looks like Ryu's stage, but just in daytime. So I guess they just did a recolor, but I don't know. It's like the funniest Japanese song. It sounds more the most Japanese to me. But it sounds cool at the same time. I don't know. To me, this is my favorite movie of the game. Well, this is an intermission song, but that doesn't really count. Oh my god, I'm gonna hear these things all 